So hello and welcome back guys. In today's video, I will teach you how to make badge system for a Discord bot. So let's begin. So first of all, I'm going to create few database models. They are badge.js. It has the simple stuff, id name, emoji and created it. User config.js. I just added a property called badges.js. And now let's move on to our badges.js command. It is in our owner section. So let's begin. So first of all, I have some data. The name of the command is badge. Then we have the description and then we have lot of options. You can stop the video and copy it up or just go to GitHub and get this part so first of all i'm gonna add this if check whether this user is a owner or not and you can add the owner ids in the index.js right here we will fetch some data so we will need the option to check which sub command they are using i'm just gonna do interaction.options.get sub command and after that we are going to get the id so it will be interaction.options.get string and the name will be id after id we will do the name after name we are gonna do the emoji and after that we are gonna do user dash id i will tell you all of this just give me some time do user is equals to client dot users dot cache dot get and i'm gonna provide the user dash id and then we will do user data it is going to be await users dot find one and i'm gonna provide the id of that user and then i'm gonna get the badge as well and then i will do await badges dot find one and then the id is going to be equals to this id now we have all of the required data now let's begin then what we have to do is we have to create a new badge we will need to check if it is a valid emoji or not for that i'm just gonna go and create a function called is emoji and then i'm gonna get the client and the emoji in it and then i'm gonna do a simple thing first of all we are going to install this thing called node emoji and then we are gonna do some cool stuff so we are gonna import this has emoji function from our node emoji thing and then we are gonna do this return has emoji bracket emoji or line dot emojis dot cache dot get and then i'm gonna add a regex it will be slash 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 and then backslash d plus dot match and then i'm gonna provide the emoji and then we are just gonna do plus equals this either this emoji exists in the node emoji package otherwise client have a emoji with this id if any of this condition is true this is a legit emoji is emoji and then i'm gonna provide the client and then i'm gonna provide the emoji so if the thing is not the emoji then we're just gonna return and i will just say interaction dot edit reply and guys i'm gonna add a check in this thing so i'm gonna do question mark dot split and then we will split it according to a space and then i'm gonna do bracket zero so that we get the first argument of the emoji if all of this is fixed we have to create a badge so i will just do const badge is equals to await badges dot create and i'm gonna provide some data so id will be randomly generated from this thing called random id.js you can grab it from the github or you can check out my older videos on how the hell this thing works and now i will just do random id and i will just provide a length it will be eight and then we have to provide the name then we will provide the emoji and then the created at it will be date dot now and now i will just inform the user that your thing is created successfully i will do interaction dot edit reply and i'm gonna say so i'm going to send this embed it will say successfully created the badge and all the information about our badge and now let's go and create the badge edit thing i'm just gonna copy paste the exact same thing and i will just tweak some changes i will just make few changes so that we don't have to write much so instead of create i will call it edit and we do need this invalid emoji thing but before that we have to do if not badge so i will add a if check it will be if not badge then we are gonna tell them that invalid badge id was provided and now what we are gonna do is we will do name is equals to name otherwise badge dot name and then we are gonna do emoji is equals to emoji otherwise badge dot emoji and now we are gonna do all of these if checks we will do const badge is equals to await badges dot find one and update and i'm gonna provide the id and that's it and then they are going to update everything else the name the emoji and the created thing and we are done successfully edited the badge and we are going to provide all of these details and that's all now we have to make a thing for deleting the badges i'm just gonna grab this part and let's paste it right here and so what i have to say is if it is an invalid badge we are just going to say bro it is a literal invalid badge instead of update this time it will be delete and we will add this and bam now i just inform the user yo this badge is deleted successfully and by the way we don't have to type value here we have to type description i'm really sorry i don't know why i did that but i have fixed it now all right so our delete thing oh let me rename it to delete and now our delete thing is done only two things are left 
first of all the give to give a badge to somebody and then we have the take to take a badge from somebody simple trick let me show you how to do it so first of all i'm going to rename it to give and then if badge do not exist yo this badge do not exist and then we are gonna do a check by the way add a question mark right here otherwise we, we are going to get an error i will add another if check the user do not exist then i'm gonna say invalid user was provided the user exists then we just have to give the badge to that user for that i'm gonna do await users.find1 id will be equals to the user.id thing and then we have to now we have to push the badge to that person's badges array so i will just do brackets and then i'm gonna do dollar push and now we have to push the thing into badges so i will type badges and we have to push this we have to push the badge selected by the user so i will just do badge dot id simple thing and now let me just tell them now it's a simple message saying that i successfully added this badge to this person simple thing and by the way we have to add another if check if that user already have the badge then i have to tell the user that bro that i already have it for that case i'm just gonna do user data question mark dot badges and by the way guys let's add if check here so if the user exists then we are gonna do this we are either finding that thing if that thing is not found then we are gonna create it okay and then we are gonna add this colon and we are gonna type null that's it please add this it is really important so we have to do user data dot badges question mark dot includes badge dot id this means that the user already have this badge then i will say so we are gonna send this error message saying that that guy already have the badge so i cannot give him the badge of this thing and now let me copy paste the same thing for take well i will make some changes of this thing man and i will paste and instead of give this time it will be take now first of all these two things are same and here we are gonna add this not and instead of add we will say cannot take and here we are gonna say the provider user do not have this badge and otherwise we just have to pull and now we have to change the message badge remove successfully took badge from this user simple thing and now i just to test it out i forgot to add something we have to do await interaction dot defer reply because we are gonna take some time in replying to the user and add it after this if check guys please fix the spelling so i will just do f-i-e-l-d-s guys i found another small issue that is related to the database so the issue is in our find one and update thing first of all it should be update and second of all instead of id we have to do user colon user id and let me just you have to change this at two places line number 253 and then line number 223 you also have to fix it right here instead of id you have to do user it is line number 100 and instead of id you have to do user let's go guys this thing works cannot add badge because i already have it so guys we have this profile command it is going to have few things first of all we are gonna import our models and then we have our name description the option will be user and time of this three seconds we are differing the reply we are getting the user and their data and instead of id guys you have to do user it is all this thing but i made this mistake i'm really sorry about that and then we have our string variable we are gonna do a for loop we are gonna fetch each and every badge and then if the badge do not exist we're just gonna continue that is like ignoring this current loop and otherwise we're adding this string and then we have to do slash n and now we are just sending the message to the user if the badge is dot length is less than one that is that means this user do not have a fucking badge otherwise we are gonna provide that string let me restart the bot and let me show you the results so i will do slash profile and you can see that the bot returns us let's go guys it, it showed the developer thing and later on you can modify the profile you can say you can add a field property called badges and you can add these thing right there and yeah it works and now let me test out the edit and delete badges as well so guys we are having many many issues with the our code so what you have to do is instead of const we are going to use let here and you, we were using const badges equals to await many at many places so you are going to replace that to just badges equals to await and then we are done and now let me show you the results and i'm going to change its emoji to something like sus and let's see if it works or not guys i spotted another error it is called exec not match so now i'm just going to do slash badge and then i'm going to provide the id the emoji is going to be the sus emoji and then i'm going to send the emoji and let's see the results boom guys you can see the emoji is changed i just forgot something that's why it sent us the old emoji and let's go it works we just have to make a small change so i will just do slash badge 
and then I'm gonna do delete and I will provide this ID and now let me try if this thing works or not I will just do slash profile and boom so you can see that the, that description is empty all right finally guys everything is working perfectly now just go on line number 158 and add this new true property and you are done and we just have to add a simple thing in our profile we have to do this instead of badges dot length check we are just gonna do if a string dot length is less than one all right guys and now we are done that's what we were supposed to do and yeah thanks a lot for watching i will meet you later in another video till then bye